Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 20 of our Albuk Biki Kimo. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with the yearly campaign. We're gonna play the first two out of the six coupe stage games in the Euro League and as we saw yesterday, we do have an opponent who is not too strong, I think. I mean, I've at least never heard about them, Orenburg, I think, or something around that. Um, I have actually no idea where they're from, but I probably I probably will... Mm, I, w I would say, I guess, they're from like Russia or that area, like Russia or wh whatever. It just sounds like that, but I have no idea. It could be from like Switzerland too, like Orenburg or like, I don't know. I would just say Russia or the, around that. Um... But also we have two very big opponents with Besiktas Istanbul and of course especially with Benfica Lissabon, one of the biggest teams. Not like top 5 teams quality wise but one of the biggest names in football for sure. So um, I don't know, I don't expect too much from us but I also asked you last episode and I will have a look at this again uh, probably in the next episode because not um, everybody saw, saw it yet but I did ask you what do you predict we can achieve in the league and in the... Um, Euro League and in the league there were I think 50% of you said that we actually can win the league title which is Possible at least maybe I don't expect it, but maybe and 50% of you thought second third but but I also would agree with so basically that's what I'm thinking too and therefore like 50 50 and one is 50% one is 50% plus me so I would say this more or less the winner so far that we are get second or third in the Euroleague vote, <laughs> 100% for you are gonna win it. Um, what can I say about that? <laughs> Whoever voted said we are we are gonna win the Euroleague. I mean, uh, of course it's possible, but we are not going to win the Euroleague, guys. Like, I would be already quite surprised, and I would be happy if we can go through the coupe stage into the round of 32. And. <laughs> About winning the EU League, uh, we are so far away from that, in my opinion. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm actually getting surprised. But yeah, this is what uh, the two games we're gonna play: Besiktas Istanbul and Benfica Lissabon. The last thing I want to say is that recently um, a, a lot of new people come on this channel, like six, seven uh, new people subscribed on this channel in the like last one half weeks or so, one half two weeks. And I haven't seen any sub for sub comments um, recently, and I actually see that also the votes, uh, the votes, the views are going up. So I just want to welcome, be quick, everybody who's new on this channel, who found this channel, and um, hope you have a nice time on here, a nice day. But yeah, before we go into the first early game, I first have to check. Um, all right, I will have to use my second choice team, probably in all the league games. Just make sure that I can use my first choice teams in the early games. Um, I will use my first choice team in the Euroleague games, just so you know. So, second choice team, Sloth Max has come back. Nürzeland, the first game we're gonna simulate. They got a tour against Copenhagen, which I'm very happy with. Thank you for that. Um, uh, let's quick them actually. 3, 2, 1, and boom! It's a 1 out war with them scoring, and we are getting red card for some reason. The center back scored our got a red card. But Among has scored, thank God. Garcia mm, quite quite early getting subbed in, but I think he should be fine. So Among finally with a goal again. It's only a draw, which I'm not perfectly happy with, because I think Copenhagen is now taking first place, but what can I do? Alright, the first game we're gonna play, ladies and gentlemen, as you were able to see, is gonna be against Benfica. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing the most difficult game, probably, away against Benfica. Um, first, like, we straight away start off, but I would say, I mean, you would have to expect this to be the most difficult game you're playing away, and that against Benfica. We could have the advantage that Benfica, of course, is, um, a, is kind under pressure, they are the big favorites, they should not drop points against Albuk Piki, even though we have some big names and we have a decent team, for sure, of course, we are playing our first time in the EuroLeague. This club hasn't played European football for a long time, has a lot of young, unexperienced players, so... Of course, we're gonna actually have a look at the team. Uh, they are the big, big favorites, and because of this, I think they're gonna play quite ex um, quite attacking. And we might get space for context, but if you look at the team, Julio Cesar is still a good goalie. Luis Zau is actually still playing, Rade uh, Jardel, Radel, not sure how to pronounce it, Zemedo is still playing, Grimaldo, Salvio, PC. Or Pizzi, I'm not, I'm not sure, Kervi, Faiser, Rimines and Ro uh, Jonas. 
Um, it's basically, I mean, it's an amazing team, that's for sure. I think a lot of these players are actually 80 plus rated. I mean, Grimaldo is probably around 80 rated. Semedo should be around 80 or higher than 80. Zyber um, is definitely over 80 rated. PC might be. Uh, actually, Phaser and Kervi, I, I don't know who they are. So these two are the only players I don't know. All the other players I definitely know and have played with them before. Rivines should be around high 70 to 18. Ron, uh, Jonas is definitely over 80 rated. So they have a definitely better rated team. Much better team, more experienced team. They are the big favorites. I would be not unhappy if we lose this. I just want to have a nice uh, performance, kinda. But I mean, who can I really uh, be angry? Wait, we fast. The cross is am okay. Just want to say, how am I supposed to be angry if we lose this game? We're playing away against Benfica. Wow, four minutes in, first chance. Clever with the cross. Nobody defending Kanatsa scores, and he just says, "Hey, thanks." Boom, goal. Four minutes in. What a start. Alright, what the fuck? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a penalty and I think because of handball. It is happening for the first time. The last episode we had the first time foul because of it and I think, I mean the only way I can explain this penalty is handball. So we're gonna have a look. Yeah, I think it's because of handball. We're gonna have a look if it's true because if it's not true I might just miss it on purpose. Let's have a look. Is it true or not? I mean, he is going there with this hand. I think it's fine. I think it's a decent decision to give a, a penalty for that. 50 minutes in lane, gentlemen, and we could take the tunnel lead. Last time I did go to the right side, it was a miss. So let's go to the left side this time. Clivert. It's okay. Not the best penalty, but the goal is staying in the middle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first Euroleague game in this, in this series. Away against Benfica, 15 minutes in. And we are winning 2-0 after an assist and a goal from Clivert. What the fuck is going on? I'm actually shocked right now. Actually uh, shocked. Um, I don't know. I, I did not expect us to win 2-0 after 15 minutes against Benfica. What the actual fuck? Oh, one thing I just realized, of course, the transfer window has ended. I forgot to change the kit number, so I will change that after this game if I can remember. As soon as I can remember and I'm in the menu and can do it, I will do it. So hopefully I can remember it after this game. I forgot to change the kit number last episode. Wanted to do it after I finished recording, but I just completely forgot to do it. So yeah, um, I will do it after this. Because there are few ones that I don't like, like poor has the number 33, which I really dislike. Um, so I definitely have to change a few things. What the fuck is their defense doing? Clivert is just able to go through. Can he score? Oh, you have to be kidding me. First of all, it would have been a final. That's the first random thing. Second of all, it would have been final after 28 minutes. And f the third thing, it would have been Clivert's second goal. <laughs> he would have scored two goals and got one assist in 29 minutes in his first EuroLeague game for Alborg away against Benfica. Like, what the fuck is going on? But of course, in a post. Now maybe a big chance for them. Salvio against Adarabio. Uh, he is quite easily going through. His agility is of course a bit higher. But it is Angelino with the block. And now they are completely open. That's what I said. They are the favorites. They want to win this. They are probably going attacking. And will give up space for counterattacks. Kanazu scores will not score. But we, actually, we could actually win this game 3-0. Like, what the actual fuck? We're playing away against Benfica. I don't know, man. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm actually... I'm, I'm very surprised. Alright, guys. Very funny situation. First of all, Zaha has injured himself. He was holding his shoulder, so I think his ankle might be broken. The first good news. I will sub on, of course, Among as left wing. Now I want to show you how that happened and what happened afterwards. So we had a throw, long throw towards Garcia, the pass to Zar, and then attack him. Like, I mean, he, uh, normally in this situation, you would expect a Benfica player to be injured, uh, not Zar, because like the Benfica player is in a weird spot with his left foot. Like, he is in a weird spot, and Garcia, uh, Zar is kind of hitting him. So, uh, but of course, it's Zar somehow getting injured, and now. Garcia taking the ball, passing it to him, then trying to take the ball, is not able to, then passing it to him again, and then again, and then he the game got stopped. So, I don't know, Garcia, I don't know what just freaking happened, to be honest. But of course, 
The episode started off so well and now an injury for Sun. I, I will just tell you, it's a broken ankle for six months, uh, for four months. Or maybe it's this really bad thing where the player is injured for seven months. What's Love had? <sighs> so uh, he, he will be injured for months, I will tell you already. For sure. Oh, now they have an injured player, Semedo. He is not playing, he's not on the pitch, so right now we are 11 against 10. Maybe we cannot take advantage of this. Ah, oh, Semedo's on the pitch again. We were not able to take advantage, but of course. Their, his, uh, their player is injured, but after a few minutes comes on fine. And as soon as our player is injured once, he's straight away injured. He's never going off the pitch and coming back. He's always injured. For fuck's sake. What? Okay. Benfica getting one back. Very weird. It is Jonas, of course, amazing striker, but no, no it's Rimines, actually. How the fuck did he go through there? Bastoni had the ball. And Andre Pioio kinda too, I don't know, Bastoni, Bastoni is one of the players I can tell for sure, after the loan, I'm very sure I will not buy him, because I don't, I, he is making a lot of mistakes, like his, this, uh, like here, that was his ball, and he just doesn't do anything. Alright, 2-1, should be final, now it's 2-1. Okay. Yeah, Benfica definitely a lot better in the second half. I have no idea what happened with them in the first half. Mitroglou's on. Cool. For Jonas. Ooh, we might have a chance here. The pass to Garcia. Not the fastest. But maybe a monk can go in the middle. Can the... Oh, the pass goes not to where I wanted him to pass it. Conatus goes back to Garcia. The one two between Garcia and Conatus goes. Just want to say, not sure what happened to Benfica in the first half. But in the second half, they are dominant. They had a lot of chances. We didn't do anything, basically. And we are quite lucky that we are still winning this game. Um, but yeah, just when I say that, we actually had a huge chance. Come on, Amang, please score this. Just do, please. And it is Amang, the subbed in player, who is scoring the goal. 10 minutes for the end, ladies and gentlemen. We are winning 3 1 against Benfica. And this should be game over. Let's park the bus. Let's get these 3 points. And if we get these three points away against Benfica, I think this is a big and very loud message to the other teams in our group that we are actually better than we even expected ourselves. Even me, the manager of this team, did not expect this. Ooh. Alright, 87th minute. They're getting one back. Very stupid goal. Goalkeepers up. We just don't want to concede. Jovic. They have so many amazing attackers. It is interesting. I mean, the corner was shit, but we didn't care. They still had a big chance, and then one of the worst first touches you will see. So, I don't know what to say about this. But, like, they subbed on Carrillo, Rimines, and Mitroglu. But we still somehow won. I have no fucking idea how my team just want to get that Benfica team away. I told you, I definitely told you that it is going to be a broken angle for three months. I told you, he is holding his shoulder, and once I play off me is hurt, and he will never be fine. If he is holding his shoulder, he always has a broken ankle. And actually, Copenhagen isn't first, but Brentby is. But 19, 18, 18, 18, what the fuck. Lynch be actually good, I could sim play this game, but I will still simulate it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, nice win. But to be honest, I would have definitely preferred a loss and no injury. Ah, <sighs> for fuck's sake. Um, now I have to think about it. He will play, of course, my first first team. Who the fuck could I even put on the bench? Anne Welson, maybe. Uh, yeah, it has to be Anne Welson, actually. Because he can play a striker wing or something. So Anne Welson, who actually I wanted to sell because he also left the club or is leaving the club in real life, is now actually playing for us again. What the actual fuck? Alright guys, I did think about it, but I did decide yes, I will still simulate the game against Lynch Pia. They are just three points behind us in the away game. But I will simulate it. Second choice team with Wiscard in the center back position. He cannot play center back and he has really not the stats for a center back and he has high medium work rates. But to be honest, we only have four center backs. We have somebody injured now. Um, a red guy suspended with um, Peterson who got a red card last game. And I don't want to use a first choice player. We have Anna Wilson who is making his comeback and scoring, bursting, getting yellow card. Anna Wilson is going again. They are getting one back. Myling makes it 3 2. They straight uh, 3 1. They still make it 3 2. The last few minutes. Can we win this? We do win. And the Wilson has come back, scoring two goals. What the actual fuck. But hey, <laughs> nice dice. 
three very good points. Away we're getting, we're playing at home. First choice team, everybody's there, everybody's fit. Against some bad teams we draw. But if you play away against fourth place with just one centre back, then we win. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense, but I'm fine with it. A win is a win, so three good points. The next game and another game we're gonna simulate, I think the last game we're gonna simulate in this episode, is against Aarhus. We are playing at home, they are not a good team. One of the center backs is called Kotsaniyazov. What the fuck? Peterson is in. Funny why, um, what I find quite funny is we have a Peterson and they have two Peterson too. What the fuck? And the Wilson of course getting injured. This would be the chat. If he's injured for a long time, this would be the chat. Can is can kinda early. Angelino. Bursting with a goal, 10 more minutes, please, no bullshit, okay, another win we got, I think, so far this episode, I think, uh, 4 wins and 1 draw also, so I think, um, so far this episode was really, really good, another 3 points for the league, and now just hope that Anna Wilson hopefully is not injured for a long time, because this would just be the shit, 4 days is fine, he will be back for the next game. Thank God. And now, last but not least, guys, we are gonna play against Besiktas. If we can get a good result against Besiktas too. I mean, we got an away win against Benfica. We kinda maybe even can get a home win against Besiktas, but even if we get a draw. And then a win against Orenburg and end this first half of the group stage with 7 points. Then we are already almost through. We are like 80% already through. So, a draw against Besiktas and a win against Orenburg, and we should win against Orenburg. And we have almost already done it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing away against Besiktas Istanbul. Playing in Istanbul um, is always a weird thing because it's very nice, but also very like very good and very bad. Very good because uh, an amazing atmosphere, very loud fans and whatever. It's it's something you just want to experience. On the other side, of course, uh, kind of like everybody hates you, and they can be very extreme into the negative too. The uh, Turkish fans, of course, plus you, you can basically not hear, uh, hear your fans. It's very, very difficult to hear the away fans um, in Istanbul, in the stadium. So um, it's very nice, but also very kind of like bad, whatever. We want to have a look at their team real quick. Um, uh, just see if I remember a few players. I mean, I should remember them. They just recently won the league. So I do know the goalie Fabrizio, I do not know the right back or right center back. I maybe know the left center back if it's the player who has played for um, Hannover, I think, before, then I know him. No idea who Adriano is, Gekantura, of course, I know him. Never understood why um, Hamburg didn't keep him. I do, of course, know Inler. Hutchison, I have no idea. Quaresma, of course, the player himself. Oysako, big talent, and Tosin. So the most dangerous players for me have to be Töre. Östergoop and Quaresma. These three are the only players I'm really scared of. Um, the other players I either don't know or I don't really think they're too well. Um, I mean, compared, I would say their team quality and set, um, wise is kind of like our team. I would say our defense is better, but they have a better attack. But we probably have a better striker. So I would say we're kind of on the level. I don't think I would be happy for loss here. I told you against Benfica if you play good, but even if you then lose, I'm fine with it. Here I would say I would not draw. Of course away against Besiktas, but I still would say I want one point this game. Then we would finish this with seven points. I actually had a look. In the league we have played three games yet in this episode, simulate three. Got seven out of nine points. And if we, if we get a draw here, four out of um, six points in the Euro League. This would be freaking amazing guys. This would be one of the best episodes in this series. Probably the best so far. If we can Get a nice, at least, draw in this game. Maybe a counter attack, because they're quite attacking. It's 3v3 if you played good. Kanatsos goes, waiting for Kleivert. He's not offside, the pass good enough, so he might take the shot, but he will wait for Kanatsos goes. He will have a chance to again score the early 1 0, but that shot was just pathetic. Oh, a lot of space for Amang, which is never a good idea. He has the pace. The first test is good enough, the lob maybe, it works out this time and it is Amang, he's finally in good form. Last episode he was just, I don't know, what was happening to him. But he's back in this episode, he's got already and now he makes an amazing lob. The, I mean the goalie also doing the worship, I mean it's quite predictable that we're going for the lob. And the goalkeeper still slides down, so it was a bit stupid for the goalkeeper. But 24 minutes in, 
And I told you, Among Us left winger just works. As Twiker, he's playing shit. I used him twice as Twiker last episode, and he just was unbelievable shit. And now I'm using his left wing again, and he scores straight away. This is the difference. We should never give Among space. 1 0 again for us. Maybe we actually are better than I thought, and maybe the one dude who said. Um, at least one dude, the well, last time I checked it was one, who said we will win the Ulic. Maybe he's actually not that stupid. Because maybe we're actually good enough. What the fuck, Ture is going for everybody, the shot also good. This is why Ture is the... Uh, he for me is one of actually an amazing player, he's one of the most underrated players in the world in my opinion. In the Bundesliga, nobody was able to stop him, even against Bayern or whatever, he did these things. Tripling through, Bastoni again with quite bad defending and then amazing finish, no chance for Larsen. So just before the time of version they do get the equalizer, um, it's okay, fi it's fine though. They have played decent enough. Um, but even the Bundesliga against, like Hamburg is a shitty team. Even back then when they pl uh, he played for them, he were they were basically a shitty team. But even if they play against Bayern, everybody was like scared and didn't do anything. And Ture just dribbled for free for Bayern players all the time. He was one of the best players in the Bundesliga. And then uh, Hamburg is just giving him away for some reason to Turkey. I've never understood. And I don't understand. In my opinion, he could play for wo for some of the best teams in the world. He, he's probably not on level like to play for Bayern, uh, Real, Barca yet. But I would say the second best teams like... Atletico, Juve, PSG, I could say he's quality good enough to play for these teams. Maybe it's his personality or whatever, maybe he is a bit weird. But from his abilities, football-wise, he should play for sure for one of the best teams in Europe. Never understood why he's playing um, for Besiktas now, for example. But okay, it seems like it's going to be one or two and a half time, which is a nice result for us. We do got um, our tour so far, so so far we will hit our goal. It's only about defending this tour now, and uh, yeah, maybe even scoring another one. Ooh, big chance maybe. Clavert with the pass, good moment. Can I score maybe with his strength? The slide tackle from behind, it's it's probably not a great card. I mean, yes, it was like from behind, but it wasn't too hard, so I would say yes. And the yellow card is perfectly fine here. It's not a hard tackle, and he was in the last man. He was able to make a shot, but it wasn't like a 100% chance, so... The yellow card is fine here. Unfortunately, though, I already expected it. It's not a penalty. Angelino is quite decent, but I will still go for the short one and make the shot with Angelino. The save, though, from Fabrizio. Stamina is down. Don't want to make a substitution because I will get my second choice team for the league games. Oh, park the bus. Ah, Togan Aslan, another former Bundesliga player. A lot of former Bundesliga players in their squad. But yeah, just a few minutes to survive and then we would get, in total, I would say a deserved tour. We didn't, we were not the better team, but they were not the better team too. We were kind of on the level. In a tour away against Vesiktas, of course, again, um, is a good result for us. Oh no, please not now. Larsen with the last minute save. What a hero. Last minute save from Klaassen. Uh, from Larsen, not Klaassen. Because he with Tekka. They're quite open. Maybe if we make a good pass, the pass is good enough, but Clever, look at this. Has zero stamina and Andreas Beck is just subbed on. The whiff blows the whistle door, ladies and gentlemen. The first two games in the group stage of the EuroLeague in this series. We're playing against Benfica, uh, Benfica and Besiktas, two big teams. Both times away. And we do get four points. That's freaking amazing. This is freaking amazing. Benfica did win so far. We have four points. Besiktas has two, Orenburg has one, and Benfica has three. We are the first place after these two games. And against Orenburg, we should win. And then we would finish the first half, and this should be finally a home game, with seven points. And two of the last three games will be two home games. Um, or two of the last three games will be home games. So if we win against Orenburg, we are actually favorites for actually going through. That's mental. Alright guys, um, we are now gonna end the episode. First of all, I will show you the calendar. Next episode, we are gonna... Probably, I would say we're going through the full month. We play against Lynch before the same time already. Um, I will simulate the game against Horsen. I will play against Point B. I will play against Ormburg. And I will simulate these two games. The question I want to ask you right now on the top right is... Do you want me to use my first assume against Point B? 
or my second choice team against Brentby. Just the question is, if I use my first choice team against Brentby, I can also use my first choice team against Aarhus, but would have to use my second choice team in the U League. On the other side though, and Brentby I think like second or third right now, um, on the other side though, if I use my second choice team against Brentby, of course, we have less chance to win against Brentby. Plus, I would also have to use my second choice team against Aarhus, so in the league we might draw points, but I could use my first choice team against Ombok, so I would like to know what would you prefer. I will ask you like first or second choice team against Brentby, and of course the other one will then be the team, uh, the squad I will use against Ombok. Yeah, and I think against Lynch we can simulate too, so I think against Aarhus, um, uh, a horse and Aarhus and Lynch will simulate and uh, um, against Brentby and Owenburg I will play. Um, quick look at the league table, 12 games in, 11 for us, so we basically have played, uh, we need two more games and then we have played against each team once out of three times. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if so it would be cool if you could smash the like button, that would help me out a lot. If you're new and want to see more, then um, yeah, why not subscribe. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, um, I mean tomorrow is first day and on Friday or Saturday, on one of these two days, there will be the first episode of the Portsmouth game or like episode one. It was an episode zero in case, I mean you don't probably know. So that means tomorrow there is definitely gonna be an AC the Della episode and then even two days Portsmouth and on three days my next album or on two days album and three days Portsmouth. That just depends. So on two or three days the next episode on an, and on the other day the first or episode one of our Portsmouth KI mod. Hope you look forward to these two and of course tomorrow's episode two so of, of the next few videos. Have an amazing day guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll check our video seven goals, not bad. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow and bye guys.